Now please welcome your next contestant, Nancy Francis. Hello. Well, you've seen all the other comedians, so I guess you can figure out I'm the only one without a penis. <laughs> You might also be able to tell that I'm at least one or two or 25 years older than the rest of them. So I don't look like most of the comedians, but I have my reasons for doing this. I do it to embarrass and humiliate my family. And those rat bastards deserve it. My son was a competitive swimmer. So I used to go to his swim meets wearing a t-shirt that said, I tried to drown my troubles, but the little shit learned to swim. <laughs> so now he's 40 and he says to me, oh my God, mom, if you're gonna do stand up, please use your maiden name. I don't want any of my colleagues to know that we're related. So I said, well, I suppose that would be one solution, but wait, I have a better one. How about I will finally tell you your real father's last name and you can use that. <laughs> Little punk. <laughs> now, I don't want to imply that my daughter-in-law is really looking forward to the inheritance, but... She called me recently and she said, Mom, you've got to come over and you have to see the space we created for you for when you have to stay with us permanently. So I ran right over and there was my space, a shiny brass urn on the mantel. <laughs> She now sells them on Craigslist as the, the ultimate mother-in-law sweep. Oh, skinny bitch. And of course I mean that in the nicest possible way. So my husband and I are retired. We like to travel, meet new people. We like to play this little game where we can tell people we are anything we wanted to be. So sometimes we tell them we're retired circus performers. <laughs> if we want total privacy, we tell them that we're retired porn stars. <laughs> but my absolute favorite game is when I'm the retired brain surgeon and my husband is one of the patients that didn't quite make it. <laughs> So I read a study recently that for every year that you are happily married, you will gain one pound. I've been married 45 years, but fortunately, my bathroom scale assures me that I have only been happy for 30 of those. And it's not my fault I've gained that weight. My husband does the grocery shopping. Why, you ask? Well, because I don't give a damn how much toilet paper cost by the half ounce. <laughs> so he brings home lots of treats, and I keep asking him to please stop that. So I finally figured out how to put an end to it. Went to the grocery store with him recently. We're in line. I'm in line. There are six people behind me. He shows up waving a lemon meringue pie. <laughs> oh, look, honey, look what I found for you. So I thought, all right, buddy, game on. So I said in my nicest but loudest voice, well, look what I found for you. I finally found those extra small condoms you've been looking for. discovery recently, I think my dentist may be blind because he took x-rays and said to me, wow, your sinuses have fallen. Don't worry, that happens with age. There's a procedure we can do to lift your sinuses. 
And I said, Doc, what are you blind? You're looking at this and you think sinuses are gonna be a priority? <laughs> my eyelids have fallen to the point that every time I blink, my lips move. <laughs> my breasts were getting chafed by my belt as we were speaking. My ass has fallen to the point that it hits the curb when I step off the sidewalk. I think I hear music. I guess the strippers are coming.